cash is burning a hole in my pocket, what should I invest in? I got this question in on Snapchat last week, so my brand K019, my Snapchat, I open it up every day for a Q&A back and forth, Monday to Friday, um, and somebody messaged me and said, there's a like cash burning a hole in my pocket, what should I invest in? So for those of you who've been following me, you know that I'm very much into that investing style right now in my life. Um, stocks, real estate are a massive interest for me and I read a lot of books around those topics and I go into it. I'm not gonna offer any advice on what you should do because the best investment advice you could, I could ever offer anybody is start learning and reading about the area that interests you. If you like stocks, bonds, real estate, start educating yourself on those different areas. However, there is one thing that I will tell you that you should invest in is always invest any extra money you have back into yourself so that you can go out and earn more as a result. I remember back probably four years ago um, when I was working one-to-one -one with a personal trainer and I was just getting my business off the ground. I remember Elliot Holtz, who's been a massive inspiration for me and has helped me with a lot of my videos, has helped me with a lot of my business, was coming to the UK to run a seminar and at the time, the seminar was costing, it was about 1,300 euro. And I remember applying for it, and he was like, okay, if you pay, you're gonna get accepted into it. And I remember I had about 1,300 euro in my bank account. It was everything in my bank account. Like, I was clearing it out completely. I had money coming in from clients that next week, but it meant that I was, once I paid, I had nothing in my account, and I was flat broke until I got paid that following week. And I remember I hovered over that button, that pay now button for 15 minutes. I was like, oh, oh, and then I pulled myself back. The truth is, going to that seminar was one of the best investments I've ever made to myself, and that money has came back 10, 20, 50 times since because of applying the skills that Elliot taught me and that his team taught me. So the one thing I would advise for anybody who has money to burn or for anyone that just wants to improve any area of their life, invest in yourself, books, seminars, courses, Follow the people that are giving out the value in the area of the life that you're trying to improve, whether that be your business, whether that's your fitness, whatever area of your life you're trying to improve, invest in you. Outside of that, educate yourself in the spaces that you're into. So if you love real estate, start reading the books by Robert Kiyosaki, Rob Moore. If you're interested in stocks, read Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett, who own Berkshire Hathaway, two of the richest men in the world. Berkshire Hathaway own Coca-Cola. Start reading up on these people and learning from them. But the one thing I can say that as somebody who was on that hover now button for so long, invest in you and that money will always come back to you. When you spend money on stupid shit and you're going out and buying a nice fucking watch or a new car or new clothes that are costing you two, three, four hundred euro, you're never getting that money back. It's never coming back to you. But if you invest in you, you get the right books, you go to the right seminars, you follow the right people, you're in the right courses, that's gonna come back to you, provided that you apply the information that's being given to you. So my advice is, if you're trying to improve your life and your quality, your mindset, your fitness, start investing in you in that area. If you're trying to improve your knowledge on building a business, on stocks and real estate, start improving your mind in that area, and you can't go wrong when you double down on your own knowledge. So hopefully this helps. Um, anybody, I know there's not too many people that have cash burning a hole in their pocket, but anybody that's just wondering about what's the best thing to invest in, always invest in you, please tag them below. Thanks for watching.